make marbleized paper. We made this cool paper. Isn't it beautiful? We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need a baking tray, and then you need some shaving cream. Just get regular shaving cream that's white. Make sure it doesn't have any aloe vera and no gel cream. Fill the tray with the shaving cream. <laughs> I got it. Once the tray is filled with shaving cream, you have to smooth out the top. You can use your hands, or a ruler, or even a mixing spoon. You really want the top very smooth so that when you press down your card, it's not bumpy or anything or there's clumps on it. Then you're gonna add your food coloring. I've decided that I'm going to use red first. Think about colors that you'd like to see together. And then drop the food coloring close together. Then you use a toothpick to marble the top. Marble is a sort of funny word because it doesn't have anything to do with little balls of glass. When you marble something in art, it means you gently mix a dark color into a light color. You gently use a toothpick to mix the color in. Once the colors are mixed, you're ready to put on your paper. Don't use regular paper because it will get too wet with the shaving cream. Use a note card or any other heavy paper. Press it right on top of the shaving cream right on the colorful spot you want. When you're pressing it in, you're putting the ink on the card. Don't press it to the bottom, just press it lightly on top of the shaving cream. Then peel it gently out. And then scrape the shaving cream off of the card. Whoa. What's left behind is the beautiful pattern of marbled food coloring. This is so cool. Finally, when you're done, it's gonna look like this. And that's how you make marbleized paper. How to make a rainbow rain cloud. This is how you make a rainbow rain cloud. You need shaving cream, food coloring, and water. First, you fill a clear vase with water. It helps if it's a vase and it's narrow, not a big bowl. Then you need to add shaving cream on top. When it makes that noise, shake it. It looks kind of mm, like a cloud, kind of. Make a big pile of shaving cream. The shaving cream will float on top. I think it's ready. Then you add some water to some small cups. Just a little bit, don't fill it up. Next, get your color ready. Just a little bit of water with food coloring in it. Then, pour your colored water into your cloud. Just pour a little bit. I'm doing purple. Try to put a color on each side, so then there's more explosion. I added blue. Now I want to add some red. It's swirling. It takes a little while to soak through the shaving cream. But then the colors go into the water. It's going down really slow, like in slow motion. It's very pretty. And it looks like colorful rain coming out of a cloud. It's so cool. Whoa. And that's how to make the rainbow rain cloud. How to make puffy cloud paint. I love to paint. And today, I'm gonna to show you how to make puffy cloud paint so you can play too. The first step into making puffy cloud paint is to get half a cup of flour and pour it into a bigger bowl. Then, you should take half a cup of glue Then you need four cups of shaving cream. So that's about four cups. Then you mix all that together. Important tip, do not over mix. You want the shaving cream to stay light and fluffy, so don't mix super fast or super hard. Feels light and fluffy, just the right consistency. Feels kind of like a marshmallow. It feels like a cloud. 
If it's not fluffy enough, then you might want to add some more shaving cream. The best thing to do is add a little bit at a time. Once it's mixed, this is going to be your white paint. Put your white paint in each of the little bowls. These will be your different color paints. You mix the food coloring into your white cloud to make it a color. Add more drops to make it darker and less drops to make it lighter. Really stir it good so all of the darker color gets mixed in. But don't mix it too much so it gets not puffy anymore. I think that's about good. Want it to get about this color. And once you make all your colors, you paint. Once you're ready to paint, you want a piece of poster board or cardboard. Because since cloud paint is really wet, regular paper will just soak it up and will rip. So you want a thicker piece of material. You can use sponges, brushes, or even spoons. I'm gonna use some white first to make the little clouds at the side of my rainbow. Cloud paint is kind of hard to work with, so you might want to dab it instead of, instead of brushing it like you would with regular paint. You want it to be as puffy as possible. You should try to layer over layer so it gets more of that little puffy, cloudy texture. I guess cloud paint, when it dries, it feels like you could, your hands could be walking on a cloud because it feels so good. It feels fluffy and so squishy. Make sure it's puffy so it looks like a puffy rainbow, not just the puffy clouds. I'm using a spoon now because using a spoon, you can drag it out more. You can always spread it a little bit. It's really great to use your fingers because it's okay to get messy using cloud paint. That's half the fun of it. 